Valentino, born in Roma. Um, it is a it's a good everyday cologne. Do you want to spend the money for an everyday cologne like this? Uh, I don't know. I'm not too blown away, to be honest. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. You watch a high tide jet, ride the tide and subscribe. Today, we're talking about Valentino, born in Roma, EDT. I have the 100 milliliter bottle. I sprayed it on this arm about an hour ago. <sighs> My wife likes it. I got this as a gift last Christmas. I have the other Valentino. This is the, I think it's the Umo Intense. I have like this much left in it. I'll do a video on that. This is more like a nighttime. Mm, I love this one. I don't know. This, this might be my second bottle of this. I love this one. But uh, the Born in Roma, this to me is more daytime fragrance. It's to me, it's like a. Sorry, I had to redo the video. So I sprayed it on this arm just now. Well, let's spray it again. Let's just spray it real quick to show you guys what it looks like. Spray it again. Boom. Mmm. I love the initial spray. So let's go over the initial spray. The initial spray. Mmm. It is good in the initial spray. It's like uh, bright, floral, earthy. You do get a little woody spiciness in there just like very I don't know if floral is the right word but that's just the word that keeps coming to mind if you've ever smelled this let me know if you own it or if you've smelled it I'm on Fragrantica right now they, they describe it as from top to bottom woody mineral uh, is this ozonic is that what it is aromatic aquatic I do get the aquatic warm spicy I do get the warm spicy salty herbal green earthy and then as far as notes you got top notes mineral notes violet leaf salt yeah violet leaf that's probably what I'm getting and then middle notes ginger sage base notes woody notes vetiver okay so personally I use this like I could wear this shirt this hat Nike shorts go buy some beer at the grocery store this, these two colognes are next to me. I'm spraying the Born in Roma. Daytime, spring, summer, floral, up, bright. And then the dry down right here. Spray this an hour ago. It becomes softer, not so bright, but still daytime-ish. There's like part of me sometimes when I spray it. And it's like a hint. Have you ever smelled like a wet dog? Like, I don't want you to get turned off by the cologne, but it's like 5% of that in there. I, I know, like, it doesn't make sense. And you'd be like, why would you want to keep spraying on yourself? It goes away, though, like after 15 minutes, like the dry down. But then when it dries down, I'll be like, hmm, smells good. But the dry down is better. I mean, the initial spray, like the first spray within that first minute, so good but then like there's like this weird five minute gap where it's like you get a little tiny bit of that wet dog in there and then like after like 15 20 30 minutes you're like mm, smells good would i get this myself mm, if it was on sale yeah but 100 milliliter bottle let's see valentino born in roma if you were to buy it at macy's it's 125 dollars there's other fragrance discounters that have them for 115 maxorama has it for 102 so there you go but if you were at the mall and you wanted to buy it macy's sephora 125 bucks would i spend 125 dollars on this probably not you do smell the quality in there i would give it that valentino they do not play around about their quality um after smelling these clone fragrances you definitely smell the difference in quality it's synthetic smelling uh usually i would always just go for the ones they sell at macy's and stuff like that lately i've been dabbling into the clones but yeah you do smell the difference in quality so the quality is there with valentino born in roma this is a daytime fragrance it's springtime summertime floral there's a warm spiciness it's not so bright after the dry down the dry down does smell good would i say blind buy probably not i'd recommend uh, either getting a sample online or going to your local macy's sephora 
Uh, I believe they have them at the stores still. I would recommend trying it. I mean, it's Valentino, so you know, it's a legit brand. It's very good. If I had to pick between this one and this one, I'm definitely going with the this one right here, not the Born in Roma, the Umo Intense. I'll do a video on this. It's a nighttime. It's a little sweeter a little more manly in my opinion. The Born in Roma, I mean, it's manly, but a woman can pull this off, no problem. So I would say, you know, it's not super manly. But overall, I mean, it's a decent fragrance. Uh, like I said, don't blind buy it. Try it out in person. People say that YSL myself is like in the same ballpark as Valentino Born in Roma. I could definitely see that. It's like that spring summer vibe. It's like that woody, the spice. You're like, yeah, I could see it definitely. But anyway, guys like i said don't blind buy it or if you got money like that and don't care then go ahead and blind buy it uh but like i said i, I recommend trying it in person spray it on yourself walk around the mall for half an hour and then make a decision right there anyways guys let me know what you guys think in the comments do you have valentino born in roma are you thinking about getting valentino born in roma let me know like comment subscribe more videos on the way i appreciate y'all for watching i'ma holla at y'all later peace